Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be looking at is there any reef related stuff on Timu? So, Timu's been around for a while now. And if you've been on Wish.com or anything like that, it's quite similar to that. And Sheen, where it's got a lot of Chinese based products, um, you know, bit. Some things are good, some things are rubbish. Um, but I'd seen a couple of things advert-wise on fish tank-related stuff, so I thought I'd give it a go. So you've just seen me pick up some airline tubing. I've got that as I need... It's just always handy to have some airline tubing. And then further down the list, I'd seen these two, like, cups... Now, I've seen similar things that people have used. Obviously, in fresh water, people put plants in them. But I'm sure I've seen other reefers where they've put um, anemones in them. So I thought I'd give them a go. Um, what's, what's harming trying? And then you've just seen me pick up some cable tidy things. I've, I've got... Um, some loose wires on some cables on some tanks so thought I'd pick that up now i seen these and I thought that I may be able to get some frag plugs in them holes didn't look at the sizing uh, but I thought either way a nice cone shape if, if I can't get frags to grow on them I could always put GSP on it GSP will grow around it and it might look quite cool I picked one of the stainless steel U-bends up uh, just for my auto top-off. I'm pretty sure that that is going to rust at some point with it being hung on the back of the tank. But the one that comes with the DD one, the plastic one, I had some issues with it and it's starting to get brittle. So I've picked one of those up and, and we'll see what it's like. Obviously, when I do come to review these items... The video might be a few months down the line or I might be able to review some of the products in this video. So scrolling through, I think there is a lot of things that are either just complete rubbish or not suitable for reef tanks, maybe more suitable for freshwater tanks. But either way, I thought that there might be a few cool things or some things that just might come in useful. So this is just giving you a a view on what you can pick up. Obviously, some of the basic stuff I've already got anyway. Um, so I didn't really see the need to spend money to buy things that I've already got because it doesn't make sense. You know, in the reef hobby, the less money that you spend on other things, the more money that you've got to spend on corals or fish. So... I won't link anything down in the description as I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to find it. If there is something that you see on here, you just go on to Timu and, and type in whatever you want. Um, egg crate. Egg crate in the UK can sometimes be a bit tricky to get a hold of. Um, or if you can get a hold of it, it's quite pricey. So... I did think that that was all right to, to find it on Timu, but for the size that you get and the price of it, you'd probably be better off going to eBay or something like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of ornaments, a lot of fake plants, um, some feeding cups, which I don't tend to use the feeding cups or the feeding rings just because I don't need to i feed my fish with the tweezers but if you are feeding flake or anything like that i think they would be okay depending on your flow again where i think that's directed to fresh water <clears throat> some little breeder boxes which are you know pretty good well priced so i think we'll end this screen recording here and we'll skip to me once i've got the parcel um i'll unbox the parcel and show you what i've got
So guys, it's been about a week and the parcel from Timu has arrived. I did pick a few other things up, um, not fish tank related, so I'll get them out of the way beforehand. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not thinking that these are going to be brilliant. Um, but I'm just thinking that if these can, you know, potentially save you some money from going, instead of going to a fish store to pick these up, then why not try them? So they're the little, uh, either frag cups or feeding cups. I think online they said that there was going to be, um, you put plants in them or you put food in them like live blood worms and they come out of there so it's something a bit different uh something that i don't know whether i picked up in the video or not because uh, there was a few things that i would seen previously which ended up not being able to find on the video but i got this maintenance tool uh, glass scraper which looks pretty good to be fair that's got quite a a sharp blade on it it comes with a cover it's not very long i think they just push in there um yeah it, it's not very long and i don't i doubt that the quality is going to be very good but for the price i'll, I'll put the price in the description if it wasn't on the video um but for what it is, it should do the job, and it's got to be cheaper than a, a Tunsy one or something like that. Um, what's this? This, I think, aha, yes. Um, a UV torch. So, <laughs> probably not really that... Uh, <laughs> overly reef tank related no batteries in it obviously um but i just thought you know at night time or something like that or when the lights are down low i can come in with the uv and just have a look so i'll have to get some footage of that i don't know how well it'll come out on camera um but i'll get some batteries in it and we'll take a further look at that airline tubing this is obviously going to be a lot cheaper than reef stores. Got uh, 35 feet of this, which is perfect because I've got my ATO sorted now, um, but all the old tubing had started to perish. So that'll be good. Um, I think that's something personal use. What's this? Ah, yeah. So I got a, there's like a little cone with some holes in it. I think they're designed for either growing moss on or like little shrimp houses. There was a size on it, but I didn't look too much into that. Um, I think I should be able to do something with that, whether it's, my initial thoughts was like covering it with um, GSP or something like that, but we'll have a look at that. A stainless steel airline hook, so to go with the auto top off. Obviously you put your, your airline in there um, and that just goes on the back of the tank so, so there's no suction fittings and there's no plastic compression fittings. Obviously we will see, I'm hoping it doesn't rust, it shouldn't rust with it being stainless but that doesn't really, salt water can make anything rust in my opinion. So that's that's not too bad, it feels good quality, it's, it's nice and heavy. Um, some suction fitted or suction cups 
again for the airline tubing. We've got little clips on, feed your airline through, um, and it'll just keep everything nice and tidy. Obviously, it doesn't just have to be airline. On my little Red Sea uh, Max Nano, the power head cable is just dangling down, so they should come in handy for that, just to keep that a bit tidier. And that's actually it. Um, not brilliant. Uh, I thought I had ordered some more stuff, and I did want to get a few more things. But without diving too deep into it, so I think I'll try out some of these products first and see how we get on. That's very hard to secure in. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do a bit of a, a product review once I've got everything set up and I'll move the camera with the torch, with the little feeding cups. I was hoping they was gonna be a little bit bigger. Um, one of my hopes with these was that I may be able to get um, one of my anemones in it. So what I thought is if I could put a, a small nem in there, the nem might stay in. It just offers up a bit more, you know, for towards the higher back of the tank where there's no rock. Or alternatively, I might, you know, put some food in it and see how we get on from there. But yeah, uh, not fantastic. But we're shopping on Timu. We're not shopping at a reef store or anything like that. So, so here we are going to test out one of the products is the algae scraper. I did like that it is, you know, a very sharp blade. For a small nano tank, this would be perfect. I've left the tank probably about three weeks now for plenty of algae to grow and film to form on the, the front of the tank. The sides of the tank obviously are still really dirty, but I've left those. Um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, This I'm trying to get these clowns to, to pair. So if I clean the sides of the tank, they'll be able to see my other fish. Just want them to feel nice and safe in their own little world so i've not this i've not scrubbed any of the sides for such a small scraper this is to be fair more than adequate um the the handle is like a, a plastic fiberglass type thing there is a bit of bend to it but it's quite quite strong as i've said before the blade's really sharp so it's got no issues taking off any of that stubborn algae that's, you know, with a magnet scraper, I'd have to go over it quite a few times. So more than happy with this. I think, you know, for the price that I paid, when you compare it to like the Eheim scrapers or anything like that, this does the job absolutely perfect. So I've got no concerns, no regrets buying this scraper. So I thought we'd just end the video on a clip of the tank. Um, like, like you've seen, there's a few things that I haven't yet used. Um, the algae scraper is one of the better things. I have installed the U-Bend, the little horseshoe stainless steel thing. I've put that on the nano tank, which is over there. That's is some of the the cable tidies as well i still need to add a few more on i was just making sure that the suckers were were all right but if i take you around the back uh, you can see the little stainless steel bit there uh, the auto top off at the back i did decide to to give that side a quick scrape sorry about the dirty glass i've not cleaned the front um and again you know the scrape held up really well so i would recommend that scraper it's not it doesn't have to be that specific one um but i've got the 
the Tunzi one. The Tunzi, I think it's the Care Magnet, the ultra strong one, which I had from a previous tank. And to be honest, the glass in this tank isn't in great condition anyway. Uh, there's quite a few scratches with it being a curved edge as well. The, the edges are terrible. So once when I do finally decide to, to get a new tank, I probably won't use that magnet scraper. I will opt for using a, a manual one, a razor blade scraper. Just find it to be, you know, you can be a bit more precise with it. You might have to spend a bit more time going over things, but you can make sure that, you know, you're not picking any uh, sand up. You're not gonna scratch the glass. I do love the hawkfish. And obviously the copper band wants to get in on a bit of the action as well. He's eating like a pig. Um, I have noticed a bit of a spike in nutrients just because I've been feeding the tank so heavily to try and get him fattened up. And obviously I have reduced some of the fish out of the tank as well, so there's not as much eating it. Um, but other than that, it's doing okay. I uh, got rid of a few more corals the other day. Not that it looks like it, but yeah. Thanks for watching guys. If you did find any of the uh, things that I picked up useful, let me know. Uh, let me know if there's anything else on TMU that you've bought that you find really useful. Um, and I, I might look at getting it for myself as well. All right guys, thank you very much.